This is Expose UX, where startup founders seek help from user experience experts. When I saw that first screen, it didn't jump out to me really until you started explaining it. So it might be a little confusing as to what I can click on and what I can't. For the sake of their users, these founders place their egos aside. I don't think you've done your homework. I'm completely confused. Whether wireframes are fully launched, the experts help them advance their products. I'm your host, Richard Brevin. When I released my product, RivalSeek, over 30% of users were confused by it. I understood why, but didn't know how to fix it. That's when I turned to the experts, and now you can too. Let's meet them. Kasim Nazir is a professor of design at the University of Texas at Dallas. Dr. Rebecca Baker is the Senior Director of User Interaction Design for Active Network. And Jeremy Johnson is the Vice President of Customer Experience for Project 202. Special thanks to the User Experience Professionals Association, Dallas Chapter. And also to Big Design Conference, September 8th through 10th, 2016 in Dallas, Texas. Filmed on location in the co-working space Fort Work in the Alto 211 building. Welcome, Rohai, to Expose UX. Could you give us a little background on your company? Sure. Uh, my company is called Frenzy. So right now, everyone knows like we usually invite friends to attend party, or we plan like meeting, conference very often. And uh, however, when we do the event planning, so what happened is everyone had different schedule and everyone had different idea of location and food. So how can we easily to plan the events? That's a big challenge. People always like text back and forth forever and it's so much information to keep it up. So what does a frenzy do is it's a good way to just collect all the feedback from guests before the event and then uh, use the data analytics to show what's the best choice for the event and we can plan the best event. So let's have a look at the demo. So this is the uh, first homepage of the app because everyone uses phones, so I just designed this. Uh, and then we can have a look. So everyone will see a calendar of all the events you have planned, and also the events of today here in the middle. And then it's easy to just add event if we want to create one. So first of all, like it's just basic formation of the event. For example, like I want to invite friends to go to LA Zoom. And then you can easily select anyone you want. And also the important, the interesting part is on the bottom. So you can set in the time options, like two, three, four, like whatever you want. And then every guest has been invited will get a message. And when they reply it, they'll go to the link. They will say the page of what's the event about and whether they want to come or not and what's the options they like. And then after every guest give the feedback to the host, so the host will get the result of all the feedbacks. So it's very simple, easy to say, okay, the C option, which is in the afternoon, will be the most people will be available. So I will just easily click, okay, choose the C option, and then every, I notify all my friends. So everyone will get to know, okay, where to go, what's the time, location, very easy and straight. So I think that's the basic flow of the user journey. So um, are you, do you have a visual design background as well? or Not much, okay. yeah. So, so is this meant to be like if you had a developer today, you would build this and launch it? or No, this is just the, the version one prototype. So the visual definitely need to be polished much more. Yeah, so yeah. I would say a lot yeah. more. This yeah. is yeah. really, really I know. bad. I know, yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, there are, if you're not a visual designer, like there are UI kits out there, you yes. should work with a visual designer if you can. Obviously, when you put this app, and I, I feel like events is a crowded space. Like, I, how many other apps are roughly in this space that you've already found and kind of looked at? Um, I think there are not many. I mean, basically, just talking about computer, I mean, Facebook can be, you mentioned Meetup Facebook. can be. Yeah, I mean, but it's just they are not focused and people don't really think about it to look for the information. But also, like I think the powerful of this is uh, text notification, so nobody will miss it. 
and it's very easy to use the data. So what if I've turned off all <coughs> text notifications or app notifications on my phone, which I have because I hate getting those. Okay. You've, I've just taken away one driver that you have for your application here because I, I, don't want, I don't want all of that noise on my phone all of the time. What, what, I mean, also you will get in email, by email. And uh, so I think people, if they don't like text, they can just check their email. So go back to what Jeremy said just a second ago. Have you heard, are you familiar with Doodle? Doodle. I would look into Doodle. They mm -hmm. do very similar functionality that okay. you have here to Evites, evites mm -hmm. uh, as well. Yeah, there, actually, there's a lot I of systems. Those, but I don't think you've done your homework though for these if you haven't taken a look at those. No, those I have systems. checked the invites, like a lot of them. But okay. I just say the thing is they just give you what it is. You can just say yes or no. There's no option at okay. all. Does Evites give you that like almost collaborative? What, what he's providing is you have three options. Does Evites do yeah, that? No. no. It allows you to include surveys and ask questions of your guests. So potentially you could use it in that way. OK, but it's not like that's not the actual. That's not the driver, their main thing for it. But I've also heard of Evite, right? This is, and that's something that I might be more likely to use rather than this unknown system that really has to give me a great experience and provide some kind of functionality that's very different from the other tools that are out there that other people have. So if you sat in a room, right, and you said, how many people here have, have set up a, a, a gathering, right? I, I would assume that you'd have a number of hands for Evites, you'd have a number of hands for Facebook groups, right? And then, like, have you asked them, okay, what are the problems with those? Like, how could those be improved? And then this is what you feel like they said were the problems, and you've put those together and you've solved those? Is that where this came from, or? Oh, because actually, as I mentioned, the value of this thing is not just about event planning. Also, in the end, in the future, you become an event hub. Like, people will really look for what their friend is really going to do. Or is, think, more, or is it more like Foursquare, where you see where people no, are going? I think the, the background story is, like, I'm a very active person. I go to all cool events, but I don't have time to tell every friend. So they always say, OK, why you don't tell me? So I just want to. This is a place like everyone can share and they plan events very easily. Could you go back to the calendar at the beginning? Sure. So a lot of the things on this calendar look like they're my calendar, my personal calendar, mm -hmm. not necessarily things that I would want to share with other people. You can set up the priority for each event, the privacy of so each So is this imported from somewhere? Do I need to enter them all here in addition to the other calendars that I have? I mean, whenever you create a thing, like definitely you can choose who can see it. And wherever you tend something, you can also share on that. So it's really depend on you. But is it is it imported automatically from because for example, I've got Google calendars and Outlook mm -hmm. calendar and I don't even know how many mm -hmm. more calendars that I have right mm -hmm. now. And I already have trouble keeping them all straight. Um, another calendar, is that something where I can just say, oh we'll suck in my Google. Oh yeah, calendar. this will be scenic to your Google or Apple, yeah, iPhone calendar. I think this is an early prototype. I, I think you should remove all the color and grayscale it to make it look more like a okay. wireframe because I feel like you're trying to make it look like it's finished and it's not yeah. anywhere close, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think I would sit in front of people, even if it's on paper or in Envision mm -hmm. light, and have them walk through. I think mm -hmm. you're gonna learn a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would figure out what's the difference between this and the other tools that are out there as well and just provide more value that they're not. And along those lines, make sure that, that what you're offering is focused on what you feel your differentiator is. Mm -hmm. Because like right now, it, it seems to be in a lot of different places. And we're yeah. trying to do a lot, be a lot to a lot of people. True. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Uh, we hope that the feedback has been helpful. Yeah, it's very helpful. Thank you. Thank you.